oh hi everyone this is your girl here again Renee. i'm back with another video and this time i'll be teaching you on how to make your own homemade ginger beer at home for just less homemade ginger beer at home these are the things that you need for your own homemade ginger beer ginger of course and you need some lime or lemon and you will need a spice it's called cloves whole or grounded and of course you need sweetener sugar most importantly you need your large bowl sieve spoon towel or t-shirt and please make sure they are clean you need your food processor and your blender to blend the ginger into a fine paste so but first of all i'm going to break these ginger into small pieces so i'll be able to process it on my food processor so This is how much ginger I have. Chopped them, finished, and I've washed them. So now is a second process to start processing it. see that i'm using two different that's the process and that's the blender that grinds really fine so you can see that the smoothness of this and this one you see this is smoother and this is so that's raymond raymond say hi This is the third process. We rinse it out, and this is how it looks. Looks so pale. We squeeze out all of the ginger, and that's the chaff. Okay. The next stage, we're gonna cut out the lime and squeeze them in there. The lemon. So we have six. We don't know if that is gonna be enough, but we have some more. Okay. The f a six lemon was not enough, so we're gonna put in four lime. To give it that taste, that extra tick. So, yeah. so make sure your bowl is all clean. Yeah, everything is clean of chaff because we're gonna do the final process. And and I'm using this towel. It's brand new, but you can use any old t-shirts as long as you wash them really clean to sieve out the last bit of the chaff because you don't want any chaff on it. So we're going to spread this over our sieve just like so. And then Even if you are alone, you can manage, even though it will be slow. But if you have someone with you, that will be super great. Thank you. 
now we're going to put in some cloves for you who don't know this this is how we look I'm gonna... Oops. so you can use any sugar of your choice yeah so as long as it's sugar so with the sugar in, you stir to dissolve the sugar. So you can add any amount of sugar to your taste. We have had what we like, so um, then you taste and say, mm. it tastes amazing, it tastes so great, yeah. And so we're going to put them in bottles and then put them in the fridge to let it chill. So why throw away your empty water bottle? We use them, I'm reusing mine. So I've washed them and we're going to fill them up to reuse them. Help save the planet. There you go, Tabe. Then I have some empty bottles here. For you to um, easily fill out your bottles, you need one of these. It's easy. Yeah, so in and this is the end result this is how many bottles we have it's gonna stay for a long time really nice cute and come on enjoy my homemade ginger beer <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.